welcome back to Twilight Princess. In this part, we're going to be getting the Master Sword Light and the uh, next heart piece of this dungeon. In the last part, we uh, get down. You can kneel. There. So anyway, if we work correctly with that strategy that I showed you guys with the... Uh, if you get in here fast enough, and holy crap, I can't. Because if you can get fat, if you can get in here fast enough, then the hand will be stuck right there, and he can't get out. Well, apparently it didn't work that time. Holy crap, I'm in, good, I'm in big trouble. Oh god. He's not stuck. He's not stuck. I am not going back. Come on, land on the second. Go, 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 go. I'm equipping the arrows just... Oh, yeah, that was cheap. That was real cheap. How about that? He did get stuck. Sweet. Okay, so it did work. Usually he gets stuck around that step. Or no, he didn't. What the heck? Now he's going to grab that stinking orb, and I'm going to have to do this all over. Or no, he did get stuck. Okay, sweet. And once up here, grab the orb. Come on. There we go. Grab the orb and run. Now this next room is the by far the hardest one because you just have to be able to get lucky in order to get out. I myself, it's going to be terribly hard because there's zant heads that appear. I didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to skip the scene. You're going to have to, uh, you cannot drop down from here because if you do, you're pretty much screwed. So try to stay around right here. No. Okay, God. Thank you. We made it. Once you pretty much make it here, you're home free. Don't worry about the keys, because usually they can't hit for the crap. After that jump, and there you go. You have just gotten the second soul light. I think that's what it's called. Awesome. We actually managed to pull that off. Okay, so now, after getting that... We are going to get a new charged up power, uh, Master Sword, yay. And then we'll have to head back in there to, uh, get that piece of heart. Um, I think the reason behind it is, is because you can't carry it where the piece of heart is. Um, and while this is going on, I can look up, I didn't want to throw it. I, I, I guess I accidentally hit the control stick with my thumb. They'll all be restored as soon as I put this in. There we go. Now while Link is going on with this cutscene, I'm going to look up where this piece of heart is. Okay, we've got the Master Sword of Light. He can cut down curtains of Twilight and kill them so easily. Okay. What room is that in? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me on that. <coughs> and actually, you can see that. No, I don't want to do that. It actually glows in the dark, and I really think that's an awesome effect. Uh, my friend Landon, who does Zelda Link Green on one of their on one of his episodes of uh, of um, Kulo Eclipso, made the idea to use that uh, sort of light in the episode, and it looks awesome. Okay, go ahead and kill the key. Get the heart. There we go. Get on this. Now go to here. And, uh... I'm wondering, where's the... I, there has to be a place where I can get down. Okay, I guess I gotta kill everything, though. So, as you can see, you can now uh, do this right here. You can just cut away the, uh, the twilight. And holy crap, that was bad. Come on. If I can do one spin attack, I can get this good. As you can see, it pretty much blows everything away. And now with that, um... Let's take me to it. No, that's not the right one. I need to go on this one. There we go, guys. We are getting the final piece of heart in the dungeon. So, it's been a long journey, but after every dungeon we've been through, this is the last piece of heart in 
any dungeon that we'll ever see. So let's walk out of here, shall we? Because I'm getting tired of this area. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now I need to come down here. No, don't fall off, please. For the love of God, don't. Okay, now, get back. You may be wondering. Just do a spin attack right here. And you're good. can't help it. I love the way the Master Sword looks right there. It's so freaking awesome. And, uh, here we go. Okay, I can pretty much shut my guide now, because I know exactly where everything else is. And, uh, so, in the game, we only have one more hard piece to get. Hold on. And it's from that one guy that we have to pay so much money to, but still, that's nothing too bad, because after that point in the game, I won't need to buy anything else except to prepare for the, uh, cable ordeals. And, uh, that in itself is going to be quite a challenge. I'm actually excited for that, because I'm going to try and use different strategies I've read on the internet, I've seen online. I am ready for the cable ordeals. So, coming up here, I hate the way they sound, it's so annoying. You kill all those guys right there in one shot. Oh, God, it's so satisfying. You remember those Kagroks, the ones that just been giving you crap all the way the time during your time in the Twilight Realm? You kill him so fast with the with the freaking thing. It's awesome. Now, actually, a funny story. Um, I remember one time when I was going through this game, and I got to the boss door. I forgot to get the boss key, so I felt pretty stupid. <laughs> uh, just for the heck of it. No, I don't want to do that. I'm trying to do a spin attack. I will give this to the Wii. It's a lot more easier to perform the spin attack than anything else, because all you have to do is pretty much shake the Wii nunchuck, and then you can hear it signify when it's ready to go again. Drop that into there. And more Twilight Vermin come out. Of course, they're really weak, because they're like the rats. Um, pick this up, toss it down. Toss away the smoke. Oh wow, that actually went in on its own. After that, let's move on up. We're going up. We're going straight up here from on in. And I think there's only one more room that's annoying, and I actually think this is it. Let's see. Is this the room I'm thinking of? Probably not, but I could have sworn there's like a Zant head over there for a second. No, but there's one to get these guys, and they're weak as anything else. Yeah, I knew there was. And I think we're going to have to kill him. Okay, now you're just playing chicken. Don't do... Oh, wow. One, sw one swing with a sword kills him. That's amazing. And there's nothing that comes, is there? Oh, there's more of you. See? I love this. It kills him so much easier. Is there more? Yep, there's two of them back there. There you go. Now you're both dead. Alright, so we're getting more depth, uh, more in depth in the dungeon now, so that's really good because coming up soon we're going to be fighting Xant, uh, which is the semi-final boss, thank god, I'm so ready for this game to be over. It's been an amazing game all the way through, guys. If you do not have Twilight Princess, and just trust me, pick it up, it's the best Zelda game ever created. Oh my god, I'm the devil for saying it's better than Ocarina of Time, shoot me for god's sake. I love this game. Okay? It has one of the best stories in a Zelda game, or any game for that matter, I've ever seen. I ju I've just not been able to see a game beat this formula the way this game did it. It made the Zelda formula brand new, and it's something we hadn't seen before when it came out. And I definitely have a long list of people to thank when I finish this game once and for all. Back here is the boss key. I'm going to get this key, and then we're going to be done with the part for today. I mean, for now, uh, this is real easy, because by the time they realize you're here, you can go ahead and kill them. Okay, to get to the boss key, you need to go pretty much how we did it in the City in the Sky thing, when you had to switch from things to things in the video, uh, Link is Spider-Man. Which I thought was a clever title, considering how you were swinging with the claw shots. Don't worry about them, because they won't be able to come up here. After doing this, uh, get right here, and I think there could be an enemy. Nope. 
But here it is, guys, is the boss key. And in the next part, guys, we may be just reaching the boss door because this, after you get those two things, the dungeon's pretty much done. So, anyway, guys, to next time to Twilight Princess where we go and possibly get to the boss door. I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.